Hi everyone. I wanted to come to you from my practice parlor to address some questions and discuss some topics that some friends have asked me in this past week. So we can get started with a topic from Carmen. Carmen wanted me to discuss third octave and technique in the third octave. And quite frankly, if you talk about sound in the third octave, it can sound like cats fighting is exactly what I call it, cats fighting. Sorry, it is. So let's talk about the instrument of physics that we have here, first of all. The only true octave is the first octave. So anything above that, you're going to have to manipulate with an airstream angle. And if you think about the, the airstream angle here only, it won't work. You have to think of the tube completely. You must always blow to here. Think about the F sharp that we first learned as students. We were fine until we got to F sharp and F sharp wouldn't come out. Well, why wouldn't it come out? Because we didn't think physics. We didn't think, oh, there's, there's a couple of closed holes, but then there's open holes, then another few closed holes, then a few more open holes, then another closed hole at, closed hole at the end. So with a lot of open holes at the end. So air is escaping everywhere. Bring the air completely down to the end of the tube and you'll have a much better time of bringing out what you really wanna play in the third octave. Now the air pressure is also going to um, exceed what you really think it needs, but hold on, refine that. Make sure that it's the pressure is a little smaller, much like turning down a faucet that's way too, too wide. You wanna get that really centered airstream to go all the way down the tube. Plus, don't let the air escape out the sides. Not a good good plan. Now, I took Reichert IV as my guinea pig. It's in uh, the, the um, F minor horrible key, right? And in the third octave, what are we gonna do about technique? So I flatten the hand out a little bit and I'll show you. So we're going along. <laughs> When you get to something like that, slow down. Don't sound like, you know, cats fighting, right? All the notes are all just strung together. So did you see that I took my time and I, I made the palm available? So don't all get scrunched up and bunched up and with no, you know, neck. So make sure you're making a palm. So also when you come back down, you can settle the hand back down. So. Then, then I'll come back down. And if I can, start to ramp it back up speed. Then I'll go to it. Now, what did I do the last time? I used a ha, huh, a little burst of air from the diaphragm always helps a high note come out. And try and I'll just be practicing this week to make that smoother and smoother. So, Carmen, I hope I've helped. Reach the palm, crawl on the flute a little bit, make sure you go slowly, make sure the physics of the instrument is helping you in the third octave, and I'll see you for the next question. Thank you.